We create the menu in a way that every dish has a different aspect to highlight. My name is Fernando and I'm the chef owner of Preludio here in Singapore. Been working in Singapore for the past eight years. Before I decided to open my own restaurant, I worked in a group called Red Door Group. They have two restaurants here in Singapore. I think every chef's dream is to have his own restaurant. When I decided that I wanted, that it was time to open my own restaurant, I needed a concept that would help me improve as a chef. So I came up with the idea of change. Preludio is a restaurant that is inspired in the idea of change and movement. And the reason for that is because I noticed uh, earlier in my life that through change, I could improve it was an opportunity for me to get better every time. So facing uh, what it is to have your own place, I needed like a platform that would continuously change so that I could continuously evolve. So we created a restaurant based on that idea. And based on that idea, we created a restaurant that has chapters that goes through different periods that basically inspire us in different ways and makes us look at things differently every time. And that way we have opportunities to improve. The idea was how do I create a concept that is gonna allow me to be better every time. The, the goal is to be as best as I can be. And embracing change, I thought it was the best way to be better and continuously improve. Once you have your own place, then some people get staggered, like there is nowhere else to go. You cannot just dump it and go somewhere else. You have to be responsible for that thing that is now yours. So I needed to create that. So I thought chapters was the way that would allow me to have this evolution. We begin with a platter of, let's say, small bites. We call it the time machine. Through the time machine, we feature specific ingredients and how they've been changing through time. We start with a very short amount of time and we finish with a longer period of time. And through these five dishes, you can see the different ingredients and the processes that have gone through. And then after that, we try to be playful with our customers. We have a dish called Out of Time, where we serve the dish. It looks like it's not finished. And then the waiter will say that the chef was lazy and he had no time to finish the dish so it is like this and she has to serve it herself so the dish is finished in the table then we have another dish that showcases seasonality so time is also about this specific moment what is in season right now then we have another dish called a dish of a lifetime which is a dish that has been like a remake a dish that i have carried throughout my life we showcase it in a different version we already showed this dish in monochrome one of our more iconic dishes and we made like a remake of it every dish has a story every dish has a specific message eventually everything kind of ties up into the concept. So time is that. It has so many views and each of the people who think about time think about it in a specific personal way and that makes it even better because everyone is looking at the same concept from a different perspective. So it ties the concept very nicely. But if you choose something uh, very complicated, then everyone will have the same vision. But we want something broad, like simple. Well, I think for a chef, the understanding of time is in some ways the understanding of flavor. There is a lot of things that you can do if you use your time correctly when it comes to cooking. Definitely, that's a very important part of the chapter when it comes to the cuisine is analyzing and looking at specifically the cooking times or the processes that go with ingredients with specific timings and showcasing how time can change a product from being something to something else or showcasing things that have gone through a specific process in the kitchen here at Preludio or processes that the producers have done and taken years to do and have made a product special in a specific way. That's one way of looking at it. Now, when I faced this chapter, I also went back kind of and looked at my own life and looked at the past and where I come from. And, and I think on this chapter, I'm trying more than in monochrome to show a little bit of what the flavors that I felt on my youth. A lot of people ask me about where I come from. I don't cook traditional food from any place in the world, but I do have memories of food and time helps me showcase that. But every dish has like a story. I think that's a very cool thing about Preludio is that everything that we do here is because of things that happen here. It's not things that are anywhere else. Like many of the stories come from experiences here in the kitchen or in Singapore or outside the door, basically. So everyone can relate a lot to the food. I've been blessed with knowing what I want to do in my life through this restaurant. This is what makes me happy and I think cooking is how I use a way to express myself. And I'm blessed to have the group of people that work with me. So I think we're a very lucky group of people. We're quite happy. So anyone that comes here will know that they're pretty much walking into someone's house where everyone is happy to be here. <laughs>